welcome back friends uh, welcome to the nick educational video so in this video we are going to talk about uh, xenobiotics xenobiotics are nothing but so these are the foreign or the strange compounds so these are the foreign or the strange compounds to our body so whatever the compounds that we will take externally so they're all stranger or they are foreign to our body such types of uh, chemicals or drugs or any preservatives added to the food or any additives so such types of uh, compounds or substances are referred as xenobiotics so the xenobiotics come from so where they come from so they are considered as the food additives they come from the food additives they comes from the preservatives of course there's a lots of preservatives chemical preservatives are used for the purpose of preservation uh, such as the phenolic benzoic so benzyl group phenyl group so uh, propicyclic groups so everything propicyclic acid these are all are used as a preservatives in order to preserve the foods and also drugs through some infections and everything so drugs may also cause an adverse effect so these are also considered as a, a xenobiotics so in a large intestine in a large intestine there will be a, a production so in a large intestine there will be a, a production what production there will be a production of these following chemicals from these types of chemicals there will be a production of finally these results so from these type of chemicals these are the results so from injol tryptophan will be formed from cadmium lysine will be formed from the thiamine uh, thi tyrosine will be formed from the phenol phenylalanine will be formed so these are the some of the uh, less toxic or uh, unwanted uh, chemical compounds formed by the xenobiotics when we can when we consume uh, preserved foods chemically preserved food when we consume a drug so these toxic chemical should be eliminated out so these type of uh, toxic substances substances should be eliminated out of from the body so for example there is xenobiotic either it may be a, a less toxic or not toxic they should be eliminated out of the body so elimination can be in the form of by in the form of urine so i said there must be a elimination out of the body there must be a elimination so elimination of the xenobiotics is because of the bio transformation or detoxification xenobiotics should be bio transformed their form their complex chemical structure their complex chemical structure their see the complex chemical structure should be reduced to a simple chemical structure then only they can be eliminated out of the body so then only they can be eliminated out of the body so these bio transformation or detoxification what i said can be achieved by a xenobiotics metabolism so if the xenobiotics are toxic or less toxic or they are not useful to our body so then they should be eliminated out of the body in order to eliminate the xenobiotics out of the body there must be a process of bio transformation of the xenobiotics or detox detoxification of the xenobiotics so why this bio transformation or detoxification has to be done because the xenobiotics are chemically complex structure so the xenobiotics are chemically complex structure so consider that it's a c chemically complex complex is c so chemically complex structure so they have to be they should be converted into a simple chemical structures so simple chemical structures so then they are easily eliminated e so they are easily eliminated out of the body so these complex structure conversion into a simple structure conversion so that is achieved by a xenobiotic metabolism or the process entire process is called bio transformation or a detoxification means the toxic xenobiotics are converted into a, a non toxic then they are finally eliminated out of the body so these are the one of the concept of a uh, metabolism as well as elimination of a xenobiotics out of the body and also another concept of xenobiotic is if 
the xenobiotics that we have consumed already the xenobiotics which are present inside of our body are lipophilic in nature so the xenobiotics are lipophilic in nature they cannot be eliminated out of the body so they cannot be eliminated out of the body they have because they are not soluble in water because they are not soluble they are not soluble in water so because they are not soluble in water hence they are not because they are lipophilic in nature hence they are not soluble they are not shows a greater solubility in in water so they cannot be easily eliminated out of, out of the body first the lipophilic xenobiotics has to be converted into a hydrophilic xenobiotics so first the lipophilic xenobiotic has to be converted into a hydrophilic xenobiotic so then they are easily soluble in water so then they are easily soluble in water so that they can be easily eliminated out of the body first the lipophilic xenobiotics has to be converted into a hydrophilic xenobiotics then they can be easily eliminated out of the body so the elimination process can be done easily because the xenobiotics in a hydrophilic form they are easily soluble in water so they can be soluble in completely soluble in water so this all things the conversion of lipophilic into hydrophilic the conversion of complex structure of the xenobiotics into simple structure is in other in another in another words so it can be achieved by a uh, metabolism of the xenobiotics some of the metabolism takes place in the liver so the two phases metabolism takes place in our liver there are a uh, phase 1 phase 2 reaction the in liver the two phase metabolism takes place there are phase 1 and phase 2 in phase 1 metabolism of xenobiotics these are the three major processes are involved there are hydrolysis oxidation and reduction in the next video we are going to discuss about in detail about these processes in phase 2 reaction there will be a conjugation so conjugation with the glucuronic acid conjugation with the amino acid conjugation with the glutathione conjugation with the sulfate conjugation with the acetate conjugation with the ch3 or the methyl group so these are all the processes takes place under the phase 2 so by the phase 1 and by the phase 2 reaction the lipophilic nature of the xenobiotic is converted into a hydrophilic nature so then the xenobiotics are easily soluble in the water hence they are eliminated out of the body thus the metabolism of the xenobiotics takes place we will study in detail about the phases and the reactions in the phases in the next video that's all about the introduction regarding with the xenobiotics i hope you understood and thanks for watching hi friends subscribe to my youtube channel and also press a bell icon to never miss an educational video